Oh, what's that? Why are the heat shield tiles installed on the nose of the new Starship Red? Has SpaceX upgraded the heat shield once again for Starship? To learn more about this, let's find out in today's episode of Alpha Tech. So recently, we've seen numerous images of red tiles on the nose cone of a starship getting assembled in the Star Factory, widely shared by the photogs and space enthusiasts. Yes, these bright red tiles are truly unusual. Until now, I've only seen SpaceX's red adhesive tape, but nothing quite like this. So, what's SpaceX up to? To be honest, neither the company nor Elon have given an explanation about the red tiles. However, we can be fairly certain that they are a key component in testing the durability of the heat shield during future Starship reentry trials. Ultimately, what possible explanations could there be for the appearance of these red heat shield tiles? The first possibility is that this could be one of the new changes to the ablative layer. Back in June, Elon revealed some updates to Starship's heat shield, including the company's decision to add a black ablative material layer beneath the white insulation layer underneath the heat shield tiles. SpaceX implemented this new design in Starship Flight 5 and Starship Flight 6. Though the results showed that the damage to the second stage Starship during reentry was reduced compared to previous flights without this new technology, the performance still fell short of SpaceX's ambitious goals. SpaceX aims to create a fully reusable Starship, which means the heat shield must provide complete protection to the spacecraft while sustaining minimal damage. This would ensure that Starship requires little refurbishment and can quickly proceed to subsequent test flights. Elon himself has described creating a fully immediately reusable heat shield as the biggest technology challenge remaining for Starship. And because of this, SpaceX's pursuit of new testing and innovation never stops. It's plausible that the new red heat shield tiles could be an ablative layer made of a different material compared to the original black tiles. The second possibility is that the red tiles might simply be a protective layer. Similar to the red removed before flight ribbons that we often see on spacecraft and aircraft, it's likely a temporary covering. It does resemble foil and could be there to prevent the adhesive from getting on the tiles as the surface needs to be perfectly smooth. The red tiles appear to be mounted with pins unlike the tiles above them, which are glued in place since no mounting pins are visible there. This suggests the red covering might serve a temporary purpose during installation, possibly to secure the felt layer or protect the underlying structure while adjacent tiles are being attached. It's also possible that other tiles had a similar protective foil, but it was removed earlier in the process. To determine whether this assumption is correct, we'll need to keep an eye on SpaceX's latest developments. We'll keep you updated on this in future episodes. Another possibility that the space community has been discussing recently is that SpaceX might be transitioning from ceramic heat shields to metallic ones. The red tiles could be the first experimental prototypes for future test flights. Switching to metallic heat shields would be a revolutionary step forward. Until now, the heat shields on Starship prototypes have been made of ceramic tiles. While these materials have proven effective, transitioning to metal could offer several advantages. Back in 2019, Elon hinted at this possibility, mentioning stainless steel heat shields as part of Starship's advanced design, noting that the stainless steel is not only cost-effective, $3 per kilo compared to $200 per kilo for the high-quality carbon fiber, but also highly durable. And at that time, SpaceX tested a large metal plate with a flamethrower, demonstrating its ability to withstand temps of up to 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Today, SpaceX is using an even more advanced material, 304L stainless steel, promising improved performance and resilience, potentially making metallic heat shields a groundbreaking addition. The decision to forego certain tiles in Flight 6 could be part of testing this material's capabilities under extreme conditions of reentry. Observations from the flight revealed discoloration and slight deformation of stainless steel, but no significant damage, showcasing its enormous potential. Moving forward, SpaceX may focus on reinforcing the material to enhance its durability and reliability further. In addition to material changes, the heat shield is expected to incorporate a supplemental cooling system. This system could use exhaust gases or liquid film cooling to boost the shield's efficiency. Water, methane, and nitrogen are among the most likely candidates for cooling agents. Water is the straightforward choice, while methane, Starship's primary fuel, would simplify the process of supporting the heat shield. Nitrogen, also stored at Starbase, could serve as an inert gas to create a protective barrier between the spacecraft and the superheated plasma encountered during reentry. This combined system will essentially transform Starship into what Elon describes as a stainless steel sandwich. 
The concept involves flowing a cool agent like water or fuel between two layers of stainless steel. Tiny perforations on the outer layer allow the cooling agent to bleed through dissipating heat during re-entry. This mechanism, known as a transpirational heat shield, is designed to absorb and manage the extreme temperature Starship will encounter, potentially exceeding 1500 degrees Celsius. These upgrades are aimed at creating a heat shield capable of rapid and repeated reuse. By overcoming the melting point limitations of current materials, SpaceX is moving closer to building a fully reusable spacecraft. Combined with the company's efforts to catch both Super Heavy and the Starship itself, this innovation promises to redefine reusability in the aerospace industry. Of course, significant challenges remain. Integrating additional systems like evaporative cooling adds complexity and weight, potentially impacting the spacecraft's overall performance. Reliability? That's another major hurdle, as any failures in the heat shield system could jeopardize the whole mission. SpaceX will need to address these issues through rigorous testing and continuous innovation. Despite these obstacles, the potential benefits of a metallic heat shield are massive. A reusable heat shield would reduce costs and turnaround time, paving the way for SpaceX to achieve its ambitious goal of 25 Starship flights by 2025 and over 400 flights across the next four years. These advancements could revolutionize not just the Starship program, but the whole space industry, unlocking new possibilities for space exploration, scientific research, and interplanetary travel. Looking beyond the horizon, the transition from ceramic to metallic heat shields reflects SpaceX's relentless pursuit of innovation. Ceramic heat shields are a reliable choice, especially since they've been used on NASA spacecraft. SpaceX has adopted this technology for Starship, showcasing their ability to build upon proven systems. However, they haven't stopped there. They've continuously upgraded the tiles, making them stronger and more dependable with every flight. And when the time comes, SpaceX is likely to replace the ceramic tiles with an even more advanced solution, once again proving its willingness to break from tradition in pursuit of progress. This forward-thinking approach highlights the broader contrast between SpaceX and NASA. NASA, once the unparalleled leader in space exploration, has struggled in recent years to maintain its edge. While the agency has achieved historic milestones like landing on the moon and building the ISS, its adherence to traditional methods has hindered progress. Vehicles like the Space Launch System, SLS, Orion, and Mobile Launcher have faced delays, high costs, and quality issues. These obstacles have affected critical programs like Artemis, casting doubt on NASA's ability to lead the next era of space exploration. In contrast, SpaceX thrives on innovation and efficiency. Their Falcon 9 rocket has achieved an unparalleled launch cadence, while Falcon Heavy continues to deliver awe-inspiring performances. Dragon spacecraft has restored NASA's independent human spaceflight capability, and the Starlink satellite constellation has revolutionized global connectivity, providing crucial support during natural disasters and conflicts. Meanwhile, Starship represents the next giant leap, with its groundbreaking design and reusability poised to reshape the industry. Crucially, SpaceX has embraced reusability as a core principle, setting them apart from NASA and other aerospace organizations. While NASA explored reusability with the Space Shuttle program, SpaceX has taken the concept to new heights. The crazy idea of reusing rockets, championed by Elon two decades ago, has now become the foundation of SpaceX's dominance. SpaceX's ambitions for Starship extend far beyond Earth, targeting increasingly challenging destinations in the solar system. Among these objectives, and the primary reason for Starship's creation, is Mars. Achieving this milestone requires substantial advancements in the thermal protection systems, especially in the development and resilience of the heat shield. Just days after Flight 6, SpaceX released imagery showcasing heat shield materials undergoing rigorous testing in simulated Martian atmospheric conditions. These tests, prominently featured during the Flight 6 livestream, are part of SpaceX's preparation for the first Mars mission, slated for 2026. At the same time, the initial analysis of these tests suggested the use of the same heat shield materials currently deployed on Starship. Closer examination of SpaceX's communications hints at potential upgrades. Speculation has even arisen around the possibility of incorporating long-discussed metallic heat shields into future designs. Mars presents unique challenges for atmospheric reentry. The thinner atmosphere offers less aerodynamic drag than Earth, demanding that the heat shields perform very well under extreme conditions. Testing footage released by SpaceX vividly illustrated flames turning blue and purple, indicating sustained temps 
ranging from 1400 to 1700 degrees Celsius. Despite the durability of the materials tested, visible cracking under these conditions underscores the necessity for further refinement to achieve reliability for interplanetary missions. Over the next two years, SpaceX will need to implement continuous upgrades to meet its ambitious timeline and ensure the success of a Mars mission. The upcoming Starship test flights will play a pivotal role in testing and iterating on the current ceramic tile-based heat shield system. While the fundamental material composition may not yet change, incremental enhancements will provide valuable data for optimizing performance. For instance, Starship V2 is expected to feature a reinforced heat shield tailored for harsher conditions. Flight 7, which will launch soon, will test the heat shield under a steeper re-entry angle compared to Flight 6, which has already pushed the boundaries beyond earlier missions. This steeper descent will subject the heat shield to significantly higher thermal loads, providing critical insights into its capacity to handle such stress. From Flight 8 onward, SpaceX aims to integrate even more challenging operations, such as attempting to catch Starship with Mechazilla during landing. Unlike traditional landing methods that rely on legs or parachutes, this approach aims to literally pluck the massive Starship vehicle from the air during its descent. The system, while incredibly complex, could revolutionize spacecraft reusability by eliminating the need for heavy landing gear and potentially reducing turnaround time between flights. However, this maneuver needs perfect heat shield performance to protect the vehicle during re-entry and ensure it stays in a reusable condition. Any damage to the heat shield could compromise the landing sequence in the aircraft's structural integrity. The integration of these landing operations builds upon SpaceX's philosophy of incremental testing and development. Each flight provides valuable data about vehicle performance from the behavior of the individual heat shield tiles to the overall aerodynamic stability during descent. Engineers can analyze this info to refine both the design of the spacecraft and the software controlling its descent trajectory. This approach allows them to gradually push the boundaries of what's possible while maintaining a focus on safety and reliability. In the long term, this development process could establish new standards for spacecraft reusability. If successful, the combo of advanced heat shield technology and innovative catching systems could dramatically reduce the cost of space travel. This would not only benefit Mars missions, but could also revolutionize Earth operations, potentially making space more accessible for a wide range of commercial and scientific missions. And that's it for today's episode. Thanks for joining us and see you next time.